Okay, let's look at this Transformers formula, this one here. Let's learn how to transpose it. Really simple method of transposing this. Right, so we've got the two voltages, primary and secondary. Primary voltage, secondary voltage. We've got number of turns primary, number of turns secondary. That's how many times we've wound round each side of the transformer, determining whether it's a step down or a step up transformer. And also the last section, we've got the current secondary and current primary. You can see those two here, can't you? Okay, bear in mind though, when you first write this formula out, you'll notice that the secondary current is actually at the top of this divisor line, compared to on these sections, number of turns primary is at the top and voltage primary at the top. So bear that in mind, and when you write it out to begin with, just keep that in your mind. Right, so let's look at two questions now, two different examples. One where we're gonna figure out the value on the top of a divisor line, and the second one where we're gonna figure out a value on the bottom of the divisor line and see these two methods of transposing this formula. Now, let's take a quick look now. All right, here's our first question here. So let's analyze the question first. So we can see we're being asked to calculate the primary voltage. And we can also see in the question, we've got a transformer as a turns ratio of one to four. When you see that in a question, turns ratio of one to four, you can assume and use this now as your values for number of turns primary and number of turns secondary are one and four. So that's the way that calculates over there. Okay, so essentially we know this middle section, don't we now? So that's good for when we're gonna use our formula. We know everything in this section. And we've got a secondary voltage of 12 volts. So we know this value down here. And we're being asked to calculate this one, primary voltage. Right, okay, let's have a look at this then. So we're being asked to calculate primary voltage. So that's gonna be our VP. And the only way we can do this now is by looking at this and saying, we want to know voltage primary. So all we do is take the other value we do know, the voltage secondary, okay? And then we're gonna multiply this by the other section that we know, which is number of turns primary over number of turns secondary. And that's it, dead simple. So the first rule we're gonna to learn to follow, and this first one, is that if we're calculating what's above the divisor line, we take what's below it, and multiply it by what we already know here, and we leave them exactly as they are. See, NP is on top and NS is on the bottom. Let's look at the second example now. So, this question, we're being asked for the primary current. So we're being asked for this one here, the one below the divisor line, the primary current. And in our question, the information they've given us, they've said a transformer has a primary voltage of 240 volts. So primary voltage, we've got this one here and a secondary voltage of 110 volts. So we know this one here. So essentially now we know these, this whole section. We know everything from this section. And we're being asked to calculate the primary current if the secondary current is 13 amps. So we know this secondary current's 13 amps and we need to figure this one out. So we need IP to be the subject of our formula. Now this is our second technique, isn't it? So this is our second way of, um, of transposing this formula and this time, we're trying to figure out something that's on the bottom of a, divi of a divisor line, the primary current. That's this one here we're trying to figure out. So we want our formula to read as IP equals. And like we said a second ago, same thing again. We want, this, we want this below the divisor line, this IP, the primary current. We're gonna take what's above here. So we're gonna take the secondary current and we're gonna multiply it by the section we know here. We know these voltages, don't we? 240 and 110. So we're gonna multiply that by this section. The only difference is though with this second technique is that when you're calculating something that's below the divisor line, this IP we're calculating here, below the divisor line, you take the IS, so the thing that's above the divisor line, multiply it by what you already know, but what you need to bear in mind is you need to swap these round. So this needs to read as VS over VP. And then if you input the values in there, you'll get a nice answer to that. So the two things to remember, so for this second technique, if you're figuring out what's below the divisor line, you take what's above the divisor line, multiply it by what you already know, but flip them round. And then the first thing we learned was if you're figuring out what's above the divisor line, this voltage primary, take the voltage secondary and multiply it by what you already know, which was this one in this section, and leave it as it is. So if you're at the top, take what's below and multiply it by what you already know here.